Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you are gonna learn everything about properties in C Sharp. We are gonna demonstrate them on a class called Bank Account. But before we start doing something with a property, let's start off with a field. So public decimal and decimal is a floating point number, but it's just much more precise than double or float. And it's gonna be called balance. And the problem with this field is that we can do anything with this balance. We can, for example, set it to a negative value. So let's create a bank account, account, and it's gonna be equal to new bank account. And we can write account dot balance is equal to minus five. We can protect the balance from being negative by adding a getter and a setter. Because hey, we are a nice bank and we want to save our clients from going bankrupt. So let's remove this line of code and let's remove this balance and instead create private decimal balance and we are gonna create the getter so public decimal get balance and we are just gonna return balance and then public void set balance is gonna accept one parameter of type decimal and it's gonna be called value and here we wanna check if value is less than zero and if so we wanna write line with an interpolated string saying that bank will pay an amount of dollars balance plus value times minus one which is basically the difference between current balance and the negative value and bank will pay this amount of dollars for you enjoy and then we want to set balance to be equal to zero because bank paid the difference otherwise so else we want to set balance to be equal to value and whenever we want to do something with the balance, we are going to do so by calling these two methods, get balance and set balance. So let's go up here and call account.setBalance to be 50. And then we want to set it to be negative 90. And when we run this, it's going to say that bank will pay $40 for us. Enjoy. That is definitely awesome. What is not awesome though is this. While in a language like Java, this is all you get, in c -sharp we can actually do better. Let's create a property. The property which we will create will operate on the same private decimal balance field up here. And we are gonna write public decimal balance. It's also gonna have a getter, so get. And we are gonna just return balance. But we can actually shorten this by just writing get. And then an expression bodied accessor balance. And then set. And here we can just copy the code from the setter. It's gonna be just the same and value is actually a keyword. An implicit parameter that is passed into the setter. Getter just simply returns the field balance which is called a backing field. Setter performs a check whether the value is negative just like in the method we wrote previously. Now we can delete these getters and setters and also delete them from here from the main method. And now we wanna write account dot balance is equal to 50 and the count dot balance is equal to minus 90 and when we run this it is pretty much the same as before but it's just much more natural to write now we want to have a unique account id it can only be set from within the class not from the outside we want to be able to get it from anywhere though so private int id and public int id getter will be public and we just want to get id and the setter will be private and we want to set id is equal to value but we can again just copy this delete the curly braces and create an expression bodied accessor but this is a lot of code for just doing a simple private access modifier on the setter thankfully there are things called auto implemented properties which can cut down the clutter we can delete all of this create new public int id and all we have to write is get and private set. Automatic properties have an implicit backing field that they handle for you. They are perfect for when you don't want any fancy logic inside the getters and setters. We can even assign some value to our ID, for example this number, and now we can get it from outside the bank account class, so account.id, and let's write it out in the console, and it works perfectly. But when we try to change it from the outside, so account.id is equal to 5, we are gonna get an error. Now let's create the first and the last name for our bank account holder. So private string first name, and this is gonna be equal to Jeff, and private string last name, 
which will be equal to Bezos. Alright, now what we want to do is to get the full name, but we don't want to be able to change it from the inside or even from the outside of the class. That's because we don't actually have a full name, we only have first name and last name. So we want to only be able to get it, but not set it at all. The obvious thing to do might be this, public string full name and get, and we are going to return an interpolated string, first name and last name. By not providing the set accessor, we made this property read only. But this is not the most efficient way to go about this. Let's write it more briefly. So just let's copy this, delete the curly braces and their contents. And this is gonna be expression body read only property. And we are gonna return this. Now when we go to the main method and write console.write line account dot full name and run this it's gonna display Jeff Bezos, which is definitely right. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I encourage you to learn more by clicking on the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. There you will be able to go through a bunch of questions and coding assignments. That's because learning by doing is the best way to actually learn and make the acquired knowledge stick. If this video helped you to understand properties in C Sharp, give it a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.